In this video, we're going to look at transformation of graphs. If we've got the graph y equals f of x, at GCSE level, well, for the new GCSE, there's four different transformations that we need to know off by heart. There's y equals minus f of x, there's y equals f of minus x, there's y equals f of x plus a, or it could be minus a, and there's y equals f of x plus a, or x minus a. Now I'm going to look at each one of these individually now. The uh, two blue ones here, these ones, they're reflections, and the ones in red, they're translations. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. So the first transformation we're going to look at is y equals minus f of x. Y equals minus f of x reflects the graph in the x-axis, okay? So the x-axis is the mirror line. So what it does is if you've got this black curve here, this y equals f of x one, it flips it over vertically, okay? So it reflects it in the x-axis. So this point, which was 0, 3, reflects down to 0, minus 3. The, uh, the point, all these points up here would reflect down there. All these points up here would reflect down there. Um, the points below the x-axis, they reflect above the x-axis. Interestingly, the points that are on the x-axis, well, they're on the mirror line, so they won't move. So 1, 0 and 3, 0 will stay where they are. So this green curve would be the y equals minus f of x. So y equals minus f of x is a reflection in the x-axis, so it flips it over vertically. Next one, y equals f of minus x. Well, again, it's got a minus sign, so it's going to be a reflection. But instead of a reflection in the x-axis, it's a reflection in the y-axis, so it flips it over horizontally. Okay, so this again, the black curve is the curve we're starting with, y equals f of x, and it flips it over to the other side. Okay, so 3, 0 goes to minus 3, 0, 1, 0 goes to minus 1, 0, and the points that are on the y-axis stay where they are because they're on the mirror line. Uh, the points to the left of the y-axis reflect over to the uh, red right of the y-axis. Okay, so this blue curve is y equals f of minus x. It's a reflection in the y-axis or it flips it over horizontally. Next. Uh, y equals f of x plus a, or it could be y equals f of x minus a. Uh, what that does is it translates the graph a squares upwards, okay? So for instance, if it was y equals f of x, this is the uh, black curve we're starting with. If we have y equals f of x plus three, it shifts the graph up three squares or translates it three squares upwards. So zero minus four goes up to zero minus one. The four zero goes up to four three. The minus four zero goes to minus four three. So all the points on the black curve move up three squares and that's where the green curve is. Okay, so y equals f of x plus a shifts the graph a squares up. If it was a minus, it would move the graph down a squares. So if it was f of x minus two, it would bring this, the curve down two squares. And finally, there's y equals f of x plus a or y equals f of x minus a. And what that does, it translates it horizontally. Okay, um, now it translates it the opposite way to which you would think. Okay, so here we've got the curve, the black curve here, which is y equals f of x. When we look at the graph uh, y equals f of x plus 3, you would think it would move 3 squares to the right, but it doesn't. It moves 3 squares to the left. So when you add a inside the brackets, it moves it to the left, whatever value a is. Okay, so 4, 0 moves to 1, 0, moves it 3 squares to the left. Minus 4, 0 moves to minus 7, 0. 0 minus 4 moves to minus 3 minus 4. So y equals f of x plus a moves it a squared to the left. And if you minus, again, you would think it would move to the left, but it doesn't. It moves it to the right a squares. So that's it. So to, to recap, y equals minus f of x. Well, that one flips it over vertically. It's a reflection in the x-axis. This one flips it over horizontally. It's a reflection in the y-axis. This one moves it a squares upwards. Or if it was a minus, it'd be a squares down. And this one uh, translates it or moves it a squares. Well, it's plus. You would think it moved to the right, but it doesn't. It moves it a squares to the left. And if it was a minus, instead of moving it to the left, it would move it to the right. Okay, let's have a look at two exam questions now. So the first one, here's the graph y equals f of x, this graph here. And the point 5, 2 is a point on the curve, or on the graph. Okay, it's not a curve, on the graph. So this point here is 5 across 2 up. It says, where does that point move to for each of these different transformations? So the first one, there's a minus sign in front of the f of x. That's going to be a reflection, and it's going to be a reflection vertically. Okay, so it's going to, the x-axis is going to be the mirror line. So what would happen is this point would move down here to 5 minus 2. So it would move to 5 minus 2. Okay, because at the minute it's two squares above the x-axis, so it reflects it down to two squares below the x-axis. Next one, y equals f of 
um, y equals f of minus x. And what that does is it's a reflection again because it's going to minus, but because it's inside the brackets, it's going to be the horizontally. It's going to flip it over this way. Okay, so instead of five to the right and two up, it's going to be five to the left and two up. So that's going to be minus five two. Next one. Next one we've got y equals f of x plus two. Well, that moves the graph two squares up. So all these points on this red uh, this red graph are going to move up two squares. So instead of being five across two up, it's going to be five across four up. So it's going to be five four. And finally, y equals f of x plus three. Again, you would think this one would move it three squares to the right, but it doesn't. It moves it three squares to the left. So instead of being five across and two up, it's going to move three to the left. So it's going to be two across and two up. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another type of question. Now, this type of question, we're going to actually have to sketch them. Uh, please bear from the drawing. I'm drawing it on a tablet, so it's not going to be the most accurate, but I'll try my best. Okay, so here we've got y equals f of x. It's a cubic graph and it comes up and it comes down and then back up again. And it's got three key points, minus four, zero, minus one, zero, and zero, five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say where these three points move to for each one. Okay, and I'm gonna to try to draw them the best I can. So first of all, we've got y equals f of minus x. Well, because it's a minus, it's gonna be a reflection. And because inside the brackets, it's horizontally. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna, the y-axis is gonna be the mirror line. This side's gonna flip over to there. And this side, this bit's gonna flip over to the other side. The point on the y-axis will stay the same. So let's start off with that one, okay? So it's gonna be zero, five okay uh, because that's the mirror line so the point at uh, minus one zero is going to flip over so it's going to be a reflect over so it's going to be here it's going to be one zero and the point at minus four zero is going to reflect over and it's going to be four zero and now we just need to draw now so this side here is going to be on the other side so it's going to come down it comes down and it's going to touch at one zero so it's going to touch here and it's going to come back up again and then it's going to come up and then it's gonna come down through the four zero, like so. <laughs> I've tried to do it the best I can, but as you can see, it's a reflection in the wax as it flips over. Okay, next. Okay, this one is y equals f of x minus two. So that's gonna move the graph two squares down. So instead of being zero five, well, it's gonna be zero three. Uh, minus one zero, well, that's gonna move down two squares. So it's gonna be here, let's call it, well, not let's call it, it's gonna be minus one minus two and the point here at minus four zero is going to move two squares down so it's going to be here and it's going to be minus four minus two and it's in line with the other one okay uh, it's going to keep the same shape it's just moving down two squares so it's going to come up and it, it, I don't necessarily know if it's going to turn before the x-axis or above it. Okay, let's move it down to the square. It could be up here. It could be down there. We don't necessarily know for sure, but we're just doing the shape of it and they're keeping the key points where they are. Now, it does turn at this point here. Okay, so it's going to come down and it's going to turn there and it's going to come up through. <laughs> let's rub that bit out and try it again. It's going to come up through uh, zero three and be quite steep again okay and that's it so the graph has moved two squares down okay next okay this one it's y equals f of x minus one okay so you would think it would move the graph one square to the left but it doesn't it moves it one square to the right okay so zero five well it's going to move to one five the one at minus one zero well it's going to move to the origin because it's moving one to the right so it's going to move to here and the one at minus four zero, the point at minus four zero will move to minus three zero. So it's going to move here. Minus three zero. And so we've got the three key points. Now we just need to uh, draw the graph. It's going to keep the same shape. So it's going to come up through here. Oh, <laughs> it's going to come up through here, down. It's going to turn at that point because that's the turning point there at the origin. Well, one zero, but it moved to the origin. And it's going to curve up through one five. A terrible drag on there, but you know what I'm trying to draw, okay? So up, down, through that point, and up through one five. Okay, it's moved at one square to the right. And finally, moving on quickly, uh, y equals minus f of x. That's going to reflect it vertically, okay? So it's going to move what's above the x axis, below the x axis, and what was below the x axis, above the x axis. The points on the x axis, well, that's the mirror line, so they stay the same. So it's going to stay going through minus four, zero. It's going to touch again at minus one, zero. And it's going to, instead of passing through zero, five, it's going to reflect down, it's going to go through zero, 
minus 5. Now I've just realized I'm going to need to move this 1, 0 the way I've labeled it. Let's just get rid of it for a second. And let's draw it again. Um, well, there's, I just put the point there and I'll label the coordinate in a second. So um, it was below the x-axis to the left of minus 4, 0. Because we're reflecting up, it's going to come down. And it's going to come through here. And it's going to come up and it's going to touch there. And then it's going to come back down and through minus 5. So as you can see, we reflected it. The bit that was below the x-axis is above. The bit that's above is now below. It touches at the same position. And then instead of going up here, it's going to come down like so. And let's label that point again. So minus 1, 0. We've reflected it in the x-axis. And that's it. Uh, so there are the four different transformations you need to know for the new GCSE.